Hello and good morning and a warm welcome to you. My name is Neil and we are Bath Cars, a used car dealership just outside of Bath, specialising in LPG cars. So we keep uh, quite a few here. We also have a tank to fill up with and we sell LPG here at 46 pence a litre. Now, if you're getting a bit fed up with the cost of fuel, which basically today has been declared at an average of over a pound a litre for petrol and diesel's even dearer, then why don't you join the mass ranks and head towards LPG? It's very good news. It's 46p a litre, very cheap to run in, hardly any difference in the drive. These are factory fitted. It's a Vectra SXI five-door hatchback. Also London congestion charge exempt as well, so you can save up to £2,000 odd a year in congestion charging, and we can register it for you and do all that here. Very used to doing that, do at least a couple a week generally. Uh, now the SXI is the sporty version, comes with the alloys, 16 inch alloy wheels, rear wiper and this one's finished in a nice bright red colour. Done a bit of mileage, 134,000 miles this one so it's been used but generally they tend to uh, uh, get used LPG cars because of the premium you pay for them when they're new. Um, right, I've driven this car, it drives very well, no faults to describe. Uh, the car basically has faded slightly on some panels, but nothing too dramatic and has the odd mark here and there, but again, nothing really to worry about at this sort of price level. Um, it comes with the remainder of the tax as well. The tax is until the end of April 2008. Okay, so you've got plenty of tax to run with it and uh, it needs one tyre and all the other tyres are fairly good. In fact, uh, this is the one I think which is the culprit. Yeah, he's virtually on his uppers, that one there. This here is a uh, relatively new tyre. This is, uh, actually no, that's the one, that's the culprit. So there's two that are fairly low and two that are pretty good still. Yeah, front fog lights fitted, small uh, thing in the screen just there. But it's out of the MOT zone, there's nothing to worry about really, it's not visible when you're driving the car. Can be filled and, and made good, although uh, in the filling process you sometimes can crack the screen and it would be, wouldn't really be worthwhile repairing it at that level. Um, right, okay then, so good cars these Vectras, they drive very well, plenty of space inside them. Let's just uh, press the boot lid and show you what the decent sized boot space. It's folding rear seats. Now the car has a spare wheel in the boot, it's a skinny spare wheel and there are locking wheel nuts with the car as well. I think they're in one of these cubby holes if I'm not mistaken. It's probably in the uh, front of the vehicle. We'll make sure it's got its locking wheel nuts anyway. Let's just have a look under here. Might well be under there somewhere. So skinny spare, and the original plates are on the car there as well. If you want to put a tow bar on, or a trailer, or you crack another plate, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, so it's a five door, good useful size car. Manual windows in the back, airbags, plenty of airbags. Looks like there's uh, six airbags at least three inertia reel safety belts, three headrests, nice clean interior, no smells, been nicely cleaned up and valeted. The uh, driver's door's in good order. The seat's just lost a little bit of, uh, uh, just come adrift slightly there at the airbag, but um, they can tuck back in quite happily. It's got remote locking with two keys, just press the button, opens all the doors up, plus alarm and immobiliser. Electric windows on the front, 3,000, 3,000, 134,759 is the miles. And you get a free tank of LPG with the car as well when you come down to Bath. We always supply with a free tank of LPG. CD player, air con which works, compressor clicks in, blows nice and cold. Armrest, all the usual, all works fine. And the LPG is very basic, it's just a switch, that's petrol. Switch it down, that's LPG. It flashes for a little bit and then it switches over to gas. And there we go, we're on gas now. Now, the gauge is there, LPG gauge. When you're on gas, it reads the LPG level. When you're on petrol, it reads the petrol level. That's a dual purpose gauge. Reactor light rear view mirror. I think it's auto wipers as well on these, I'm pretty certain it is. There's your uh, alarm sensors. We've got uh, mirrors in the sun visors as well. Grid, gradual tinted windscreen, radio CD as I said, fingertip control, hi-fi on the steering wheel and the leather wheels in good order as well. I think this car needs a service, the service lights on, 
but a cheap service is these aren't dear to service especially if the LPGs are working fine cruise control on the end of that stalk there dead handy and fingertip control hi-fi as I've said on there the fan speeds all work fine hot and cold air yeah, or the usual there's all the books there's the uh, locking wheel nuts and the owner's manual everything is in there as per usual the clutch is nice it's got a, a good clutch the clutch feels absolutely perfect and the gear stick and gear knob all feels as it should do wipers all work fine rear wash wiper all works fine I'll just show you in the rear mirror there there you go there's the rear wiper so that's all fine the lights are good the uh, bulbs have been checked out it has a bulb warning light as well and um, these can give you something in the region of sort of 65 mpg which is very good for this 125 1.8 uh, 16 valve motor we do get through quite a fair few of these every year actually and uh, I do get um, generally very good reports back just had a letter back from a gentleman who bought one from me the other day saying how pleased he was another chap who bought one in London from me going back a few months ago said uh, that he was very very impressed with the fuel consumption and it was saving him a fortune on a annual basis okay well I'll leave you with that shot thanks very much for watching this uh, video I hope it's been some use to you so don't forget the road fund license is cheaper it's congestion charge exempt the fuels dirt cheap and environmentally friendly how could i miss that one yeah if the carbon dioxide output from these cars are very low and particulate levels are very low much lower than diesel so you're doing your bit for the uh, environment as well okay thanks very much once again we'll see you soon cheers bye bye